I got a call from my wife, and she couldn't open the door because the, the water came in from the other side, and the door was shut. I had to break the door down and got my family out the best way I could. And right now, I'm trying to find my car keys because my car is down there, but I lost my keys trying to get them out the house. And that's where I'm at now. Uh, I got a newborn child. Like I said, they were standing on furniture. I had to break the door down to get them out. I broke it down with a hammer. I just got in there the best way I could. And I need my car keys. <laughs> Cause I, that's all I got left. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Even if Mr. Harvell found his keys, and I don't know what car he drives, but even if he found his keys, well, I don't know. Is that, did you find those? Well, well, somebody was looking for him. Hold on. Oh, boy. You, you don't know who it is. I was watching. Hold on. Hold on here. Hey, Mr. Mr. Harvell. Mr. Harvell. We don't, we don't know. It could be anywhere. So you saw us on the news? I saw us on the news a while ago watching TV. I said, my lost keys. I just found some. So might you be, saw it on the news and came and walked just over? Just watching it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, they're in there trying to move things around, sir, is what they're, what they're doing. Uh, you hold tight here. Mr. Harvell! Mr. Harvell! We got somebody that found your keys! Where did you, where did you find these keys, sir? They was right by my car park down the road at, at apartment A down the street. Apartment A down the street? Uh, yes. Okay. So Nobody's trapped, it doesn't sound like, at this moment right now. Here we go, here we go. Are these the keys? That's amazing. Miss Harvey, hey man. I'm so grateful that at least that part of this is yeah, over. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just happy my family is safe. That's more important than anything. I, everything else is secondary. Oh, my family is safe. Now I can move around at least. <laughs> yeah. You hope, you hope. So, yeah. Well, I parked my car down there. Cause like I said, my wife called me, and the wall collapsed. The wall collapsed on her, so the fall I got disconnected. So I did like 90 miles an hour on the highway to get here, cause I, I lost contact with her. So I got out the car and I ran through all the the, the flood and water and got to my door. And the water was up here. You see, it was to this level when I got here. Yeah. Was, they, was, and yeah. they was in the house standing by the door because they couldn't open the door. And the, the creek is right behind my house. Hey, I can complain, but nobody gonna listen. Hope well, we somebody, listening, sir. Hey, listen, somebody, don't say that hope now. Hope that somebody <laughs> hear, hear, hear my crap for help. Hey, listen, <laughs> somebody was listening and they brought your keys over, okay? Yeah. So don't say nobody's listening exactly. to you, true sir, because that that's not true, true okay? That is. True that is. Well, until Red Cross get here, like I said, I guess the storm ain't done yet. So All right. whenever they get here, maybe they can help us a little bit. But right All now, right. I'm just happy everybody's alive and we're safe. No, I appreciate you guys too. What a blessing. It's like a <laughs> miracle that you just witnessed firsthand. I, <laughs> listen, I got to, we say all the time here at the station that Justin always happens to find these <laughs> incredible <laughs> stories. It gives me goosebumps. Crazy. I know. I mean, it just gives me the chills. Our jaws were on the floor. I, I, we all were in <laughs> here just, are you kidding? This is happening. But again, listen, stories of resilience stories of strangers helping people and doing good things. It is the Nashville way. Uh, it's what this community is about, and I know we're going to recover. It's hard right now, but you've got to find those little glimmers of hope. Just